This video is dividing using fact families, and that's Common Core Standard 3OA2. Before we go over fact families, we first need to go over vocabulary. So the vocabulary is the dividend, the divisor, and the quotient. So I always like to say dividend, divisor, quotient, dividend, divisor, quotient, dividend, divisor, quotient, dividend, divisor, quotient. So the dividend always comes first when you're doing it horizontally like this and you have this kind of division symbol. And then the divisor, and then we have the quotient. So the quotient is always the answer, okay? Now, this one right here, if you have this kind of box symbol, it we still say dividend, divisor, quotient, dividend, divisor, quotient. But instead of making um, a left to right motion, we kind of make a C. So it's dividend, divisor, quotient, all right? All right, here's the first problem. Say you get 18 divided by 6 equals what? And you want to use fact families in order to solve this problem. So first, I'm going to remind you of the vocabulary. I've got the dividend, dividend, divisor. Quotient. So it looks like they want us to find the quotient here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I know that in here, if you want to see this, this is um, right here is the fact family. And sometimes you have a fact family that's a triangular fact family, or other times you might have one that's called a rectangular fact family, or Sometimes they have houses, they call them fact family houses. Okay, now with this, you'll notice you have two multiplication problems or number sentences and two division number sentences. So there's always um, one, two, three, there's always four um, equations, and there's always three numbers. Now they call it a fact family because the family is only made up of three numbers, one, two, three, okay? Now you can't change those numbers. So you'll also remember that right here on the top of our little fact triangular fact family, we have the whole, just like if it was a number bond. And then these two numbers are parts. So it's part, part, whole, okay? Part, part, whole, okay? So if I look here, I have the dividend, that's my whole. So I'm gonna put it here. And then the six, which is our divisor, is the part. So I'm gonna put that here. So those are two members of our family, but we do not know what the third member is. So we need to find that out. Now, the cool thing about using a fact family, let's say you, you don't like division. So we could just use multiplication to find the answer here. So the first thing I'm going to do with uh, multiplication, the biggest number always, well, I'll put this here. This is division. And I know with division, the biggest number always comes first. So I'm going to put that. It's always the first number in the number sentence. But in multiplication, the biggest number always comes last. Now I have all these boxes here, and I have to fill them in. I only have one part though, so I'm just going to fill in one of the parts. So I'm going to put a part here, this part here, where that family member is going to go. So this family member needs to be in every one of these sentences. So I'm going to put the family member here, 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 and here. So I tried to go from side, middle, I tried to go side, and then middle, and then side, and then middle. So it kind of looked nicer. Now I want to see which one of these do I feel most comfortable solving. This one looks pretty cool, but you might not like division. So I'm going to try this one. So the way this works is this right here, I'm going to skip count by sixes and I'm going to see how many fingers I need to make 18. So here I go. 
6, 12, 18, that's 3. So I know my missing number here is 3. So now I have 1, 2, 3 members of my family, and in here I only can use those 3 members. So I know this has to be a 3, this has to be a 3, this has to be a 3, this has to be a 3. So you can see in each one there's a 6, in each one there's a 3, and in each one there's an 18. Now all I have to do is look for this problem. Oh, it looks like it's 18 divided by 6. It's right here. So the answer is 3. So that was pretty easy. So let me erase this. Hopefully it'll erase nicely. Sometimes it doesn't. And go to the next problem. Okay. So So the next problem is 21 divided by what number equals 7? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to learn the vocabulary, and I know it goes dividend, divisor, quotient, dividend, divisor, quotient. So it looks like I have the dividend, which, which will be my whole. And then I don't have the divisor, and I don't have the quotient. So remember, um, with the, um, the whole number, the biggest number always goes on top. So I have 21. And then I have this part right here. And it can go in either spot here. I'll put it on here this time. Now, right here, this would be, if this right here is a triangular fact family, but we could have a rectangular fact family too. It would just look like this, just the square, the, the square in the middle. So, and this is what I need to find out. So I remember with division, the biggest number always comes first. So I'll put that here on both of these two sentences. And then in multiplication, the biggest number is at the end. Now my goal is to use all these three numbers in every one of these equations. Now, I don't have the divisor, but I had the quotient, which is here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go um, side, middle, side, middle, okay? So now, I need to find out what this missing number is. And I don't know, I, I could do division, but I don't really like division. I think I'm gonna do multiplication. This one makes me feel the most comfortable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip count by sevens until I get to 21. Here I go. Seven, 14, 21, three. So I know this missing number here is a three. So that means in all these missing spaces, I need to put a three. So I put a 3, 3, 3, 3. Now you notice every one of the equations has a 3. Every one of the equations has a 7. And every one of the equations has a 21. Why? Because these are the three members of the fact family. Now I want to answer this question. So I want to have one that has a 21 in the front as the dividend and a 7 as the quotient. Looks like this one. So that's it. So I know my answer here is three. Okay, next problem. Before I do that, I want to erase this. All right, so the next problem. All right, so this time, we notice we sing our song just to learn the vocabulary. Dividend, divisor, quotient. So it looks like I'm missing the dividend this time. Well, I know in division, the biggest number always comes first. So I know this is my whole. 
this is a part and this is a part. So I know I do not know the biggest number, which would be on top, so I'm just going to put a question mark. And then these two numbers I can put in either spot. It doesn't matter the order. So now I always like to fill in the hole first. I know the hole, well, the hole first. I know the biggest number, um, which we don't have, would go here. So I don't know this, these two equations. I don't know the answer to those two, and I do not know the whole on these. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I guess, with the three. I'll go side, middle, side, middle. And now I'll do the eight. Middle, side, middle, side. Now this one looks really easy to me, and, and this one's kind of easy, but I know my three is better than my eight, so I'm going to do my threes. So I'm going to skip count by threes until I have eight fingers. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four. So the answer here is twenty-four, the product. So that means I know my hole is twenty-four. So if my hole is 24, all I'm going to do is fill in the question mark here, each question mark. And again, these are my family members, and each equation has um, every member of the family in it. So I have a 3, so all of them have a 3. I have an 8, so all of them have an 8. And I have a 24, all of them have a 24. So now I have to look for one that looks like this, the divisor being 3 and the quotient being 8. Here it is. So I know the answer is 24. Okay. All right, this one looks a little different, but again, it's very easy. So this right here, we know our song. It goes dividend. And I always remember, like, this one's on the end when I'm going this way. Whoops, that looks weird. So it goes dividend, divisor. And this is the quotient. And to me, it makes a C dividend, divisor, quotient. Dividend, divisor, quotient. That's why I was going to make that arrow, but I was afraid that would be kind of confusing. So I have my whole, my part, and my part. So I know my whole is going to be the biggest number. And my biggest number is the dividend. It's always what I start with, dividend, divisor, quotient. So dividend would be the biggest, so I'm going to put that on top. So I would put the 36 on top. And then I know this is a part, so I could put it either place, or I'll put it here. And this is my question mark. Now I know with multiplication, the biggest number always goes here at the end, so I'm going to fill that in. And I know the biggest number in division always goes first. Now I only know this other member of the family, so I think I'm just going to go side, middle, side, middle. And then the question mark is what I don't know. I could fill it in or leave it back blank. I just want to put a question mark this time. Uh, this one makes me feel the most comfortable, so I'm going to solve this one. So I'm going to skip count by nines until I, and until I get to 36 on my fingers. So 9, 18, 27, 36. I got to 36, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4 fingers. So I know my missing number is 4. So I know wherever I have the question mark, I put a 4. And you can see I'm solving all these division problems kind of by using multiplication. 
So now all I have to do is look for this problem. 36 divided by 9, that would be here, is equal to 4. Okay, next problem. This will always stick. Okay, this is the last problem. So again, I have my fact family. And I know the top number is the whole. And then this is a part. And this is a part. And I know this is my dividend divisor quotient. I make that little C move motion movement. So dividend divisor quotient. So we know dividend always comes first. So I know that's the biggest number. So I'm going to put that here. So the dividend would be 24. And then the divisor, I don't know. It doesn't matter where I put that. Maybe I'll put it here. And then the quotient is 4. So again, I know the biggest number is always on top. And with multiplication, it always goes in the end. So I put that family member here. And I in division, the biggest number always comes first because dividend. So I'm always going to put that in the front where the biggest number always comes first for division. And now I just have to, this is the only other member I know. I don't know this member, so I'm going to put this member in. I think I'm going to go side, middle, side, middle, and then this one is right here. So we have to find the missing family member. So again, I like this one. I love this because I'm doing division, but really I'm just doing multiplication because of the opposite of each other. So I could find out any of the family members that by doing multiplication or division. So I choose multiplication because division is a little difficult. So I'm gonna use my skip counting songs four until I get to 24 with my mouth. So my fingers will tell me what number goes here. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, that's 6. So I know the missing number is 6. So wherever there was a question mark, I put a 6. And now I have all of my family members in my fact family. I have a 4, a 6, and a 24. Remember, these are the only members of the family. Even though 12 times 2 equals 24, and 8 times 3 equals 24. Those are different families. This is our family. So we have a 4, so each one of these equations has a 4. We have a 6, so each one of these equations has a 6. And we have a 24, so each one of the equations has a 24. So now I have to look for this answer. I have the dividend and the quotient, so I have the first number and not the middle. Oh, look, so I have a 24 and a 4, this looks like the 1. So the missing dividend divisor is 6. So this right here should have been a 6. So the equation would have been 24 divided by 6 equals 4. All right, I hope that helps.